as a Belize progressive candidate, I, Edna Doris Diaz, pledge, Diaz pledges to stand by principles of justice and integrity to serve my people to the best of my abilities to seek the upliftment of my area and of the whole of Belize by making it a priority, the following. And this following is a very important um, point for Corozal Southeast and the Orange Rock District. To stand by the northern districts and be their voice, especially the cane farmers, to strengthen our sugar cane act. Like me, there's a lot of people with the silent voice that, that would want to make a difference, but they're not brave enough to, to stand up, right? So I'm here today to represent the, the people with that silent voice that, that wants to see a difference being made, no? Um, the people that would stay home and not come out and vote because they didn't find a, a candidate worthy enough um, for their vote or the people that just ultimately want a difference, you know? Um, the focus and change I plan to bring to Port Loyola is, I know for most of the unemployed people, all they want is jobs. But you have people in the area that have jobs too, you know? And I find that the, the ultimate thing people want is safety and security, you know? People, especially the minority, have to depend on the government because there are no jobs. And let's face it on a real, every day we have to eat. Every day we have a me means that we need to meet. And if we do not have job, what's the other alternative for the youths? So my thing is this morning, we as the BPP, myself, if I should be elected, my main focus will be on creating jobs and opportunity for our young people and on everyone on our whole. Secondly, we deserve land. People have been crying out for land in this country for years. And every time you go and you inquire about land, the first thing they tell you, there's no land. Belizeans, I'm sitting here this afternoon to tell you, don't be fooled. We have millions of acres of land in our country still available. The reason why we do not get land because we keep electing the same corrupt people over and over who only use the land to their selfish gain. If we change this dynamic and create new people, put new people in there with vision, people that have proven themselves to have the love for their people, we will get the land that we deserve. I went to Rockstone Pan, Lucky Strike, Rockstone Pan 2, Lucky Strike, and Corozolito. It shocked me to know that there are people in those areas that are living without electricity and water. My question is to the Belize public, how long have we been doing this? Isn't it 60 years? There are actually areas in Belize Rural North without electricity and water. Yet at this time, you are telling my students that they need to go online and do online studies. So how are they going to do that? It shocked me to know that people reached out to me through Facebook because of my live videos and told me, come and visit. And when I got there, there are people through the road of Rockstone Panda has been locked in for the last six months and have not seen an era wreck. As far as I know of them, I'm the first candidate that went to Rockstone Pan Sunday with groceries and seed. Now, like I keep saying, Belize, you have the power to change this nation. This is a time now. Give we a chance. Five years with the we know. And the five years, please. And my young youths, don't be a craziness, I take $50, a hundred. That waste of time. If you eat, you think a hundred dollars you want to eat shilling biscuit ideal. You think you pay a house rent, light bill, water bill. You try to pay, you think a hundred dollars and pay everything for servant, pay house rent, pay your education for your kids. You think you can buy gas, you can buy food for a hundred dollars for five years. That's a nonsense. Belizean, wake up. The four judge people want a good life like every other Belizean who have a good life. You know that the thing that I am struck by most is that people come to me and I say, I don't, they're not asking for money to buy a room or anything like that. They're saying, can you help me with tuition for my kids? And I'm thinking, here you are, Fort Judge, was governed by the PUP for 39 years. And I said, have you ever heard of Musa or a Barrow Pickney? They ask you tuition to go to school. It's not fair, Belize. It's not fair. 
It's time to give the BPP a run.